Welcome back. We're joined with, by Jim Luzar with the Vico County Purdue Extension Office. And today we are here to talk about a problem that many of you out there are probably dealing with right now. If you have uh, tulip trees. Uh, yes, Abby. The tulip tree uh, scale insect is an insect. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, overwintering insect. So our mild winter, and again, more collateral damage from the mild winter. We didn't get these frozen out and in terms of the population. So they overwintered and they're showing up on the tulip trees and they are, they're a sap sucker. They're a stationary insect that sucks sap. This limb, this twig, for example, is just loaded. Covered. And then over time, in July and August, these will uh, lay eggs and the eggs will hatch. Even more population will be here sucking sap. And then they secrete a product called honeydew. Mm -hmm. It's got a high sugar content, but it's very, people have, uh, clients have told me, syrupy material, uh, very uh, uh, viquous material, and, I and don't so know if you this can, leaf uh, is just covered. And I don't know how um, close our cameraman Sam can get on this, but if um, you can see, it's just very, very scaly. It looks kind of um, brown little scales all up and down uh, that branch. So one of the concerns is topical insecticides will not cut, will not work because of this uh, insect. It has this scale or this kind of a shell or, or, or coating, it, yeah. so it's, it's, and it doesn't move, so it can't get the insecticide uh -huh. in. Uh, so what we're recommending right now for uh, homeowners that have a tree that they are really concerned about is a product, and we want to look at the label, but this is a systemic insecticide. Okay. We're not going to put this on the leaves. We're going to put it down at the base of the tree for the roots to absorb. Gotcha. Systemic means the tree will then take it up and provide some suppression not complete control. I'm not going to guarantee complete control. We're just going to try to knock some of these off to maintain tree health. But over time then, in about to take a couple weeks at least for this material to be absorbed. Typically on this product, we want, we're looking for the active ingredient. You want to look on the label okay. and it's imetacloprid. That's the active ingredient. That's what actually kills the target pest. So you want to look for the right product. You want to uh, announce per inch of circumference mm -hmm. around the tree. So a big tree, it's going to take several ounces. This is 32 ounces. Okay. So a lot of the clients are calling with big trees in question. It's going to take, uh, and this is about, uh, this is probably the cheapest version, about $10 for 32 ounces. And it's going to be a little more pricey than that for other products. But again, what will have to be, given the weather forecast, we'll have to water this in okay. in terms of a drench application. And there are some YouTube applications that show the actual process of making application. But again, we're not using a hand spray and spraying. We'll just put this in a bucket. Okay. We'll drench the area around the base of the tree, water it in since it's not going to rain. Okay. And most of our tree roots are only about eight inches deep. So that'll get in and then the tree will absorb it through its vascular system. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jim. If you have any more in, uh, questions that you'd like for Jim, uh, just call the number right there on your screen. You're watching News 10 to Midday. We'll be right back.